Summer may be only officially with us for another six days, but doesn't mean vacation time ends. And if your next trip involves renting a place to stay, you need to see this next report. As Brittany Morehouse tells us, some people are losing a lot of money because they rent something that they think they're getting and it isn't legit. This is an amazing home. It's an absolutely gorgeous home. 300 miles away in Raleigh, Another North reason. Carolina, Jessica Santel raves about this vacation home she spotted on a rental website. There was this one picture and um, there were these big bright block letters that said relax. And I just thought, oh gosh, relax, that sounds great. So great that weeks later, she still remembered that image and that saved her from losing thousands of dollars. So when I got this email and I saw those very same pictures, it really sent up a big red flag for me. The email came from a person posting the very same house on Craigslist. Eight bedroom, seven bath home, and he was saying, hey, it's only gonna be $4,500 for the week. The house really belongs to Jerry and Carol Jongarius. Someone took our photos and text of our properties that was already online, put it out there on another website, but with their contact information. John Garius says he found out about this three weeks ago. We got a phone call from a Tim in Indiana who said he wanted a receipt for his payment for our rental property. Knowing he never rented to a Tim in Indiana, John Garius says he reported the problem to every local authority he could think of. It's beyond frustrating that everyone is pointing fingers. It's not our jurisdiction. Even the FBI says it's not our jurisdiction if it goes overseas. So he's yeah. taking on his own There's crime the, investigation. Here's the quotation from finding Chris. other properties listed by the same post. They want either bank wires or certified checks. Big red flag. Okay, you are to send a total of. The contract contains no business address, business name, business phone number. You know, that's another red flag. So Two of many tips he offers. You call the fraudster, you will never get a person. It turns out all they're doing is using a messaging service. Expertise both he and Santel say they'll keep building on until they write this wrong because it's so easy for them to really just fool everyone into thinking that this is their home. We emailed and telephoned that person who posted the properties on Craigslist. He did not respond to any of our messages. We also reached out to several different company reps for Craigslist. No response there either, Anita. Oh, wow. How big a problem are we talking about here? It's hard to tell. There are really no groups that actually track this kind of fraud, but John Garius tells me that he's been able to track down several, I mean, dozen victims, people like him, who have been even victimized by the very same fraudster that Taking he's their information out. and putting it on Craigslist. Absolutely. What is the website doing? Well, in a short answer is they haven't really done anything yet. They've responded to his emails, a few of them, but he's been sending them a daily barrage of emails telling him this website, this, you know, this person's email do something address, about this. Yeah. and it still remains up there. All right, Brittany Morehouse, thanks. Great work. Now, we do have to say Greg's List does have a menu to help you avoid scams, and it's right there on the home page. It recommends only dealing locally with people you can meet in person. You should also never wire funds via services like Western Union or MoneyGram. Also, avoid deals that involve any shipping or escrow. The page also lists resources you can contact if you think someone is trying to scam you. And you can get a link to those at WUSA9.com. Just click on Living Smart.